If you wanted to make an adjustment in Photoshop that brightens your image lots in the background, a medium amount in the middle ground, and a small amount in the foreground, how easy would that be? In this video, I'm going to show you a hidden feature inside of Photoshop that makes it possible for a single adjustment to automatically appear stronger depending on the distance of objects or elements within your landscape. Now this concept can be applied to any adjustment layer, or even for that matter any layer that has a mask attached to it. For this example, a curves adjustment will do the trick when it comes to adding that brightening effect. And when it comes to applying that curves adjustment at different strengths in different areas, we'll be using its layer mask, as you probably have guessed. But the whole element of depth and masking this adjustment in or out based on distance, that's a bit tricky using normal layer masking methods. But there is a hidden way in Photoshop to create from a flat image, something called a depth map, which we can use in a layer mask to do exactly what we want. Now it is tucked away in Photoshop's neural filters menu option under the depth blur filter. And this depth blur neural filter uses some magic to analyze an image and essentially figure out how far away things are from the camera. And the purpose of it from Photoshop's perspective is that you can then use this depth map to add a realistic depth of field like effect like this, blurring out the background based on distance. So the things that are further away are more blurred and things in the foreground are less blurred. Now that's cool, but we're not gonna be using it as intended at this time. Instead, what we're gonna do is check this box down here to output the depth map only. And then in this drop down, we'll make sure that we're outputting the result to a new layer. So before I click OK, notice what this is actually giving us. The closer elements in the scene are appearing darker or black. And as you go further into the distance, the general shapes of the objects within the image, they appear lighter as you go further back. Now imagine this as a layer mask applied to a curves adjustment where lighter parts of a mask reveal the adjustment and darker parts conceal it. Well, that's exactly what we want in this scenario. So let's click OK now and we can see a new layer containing our depth map has been added to the document. But this isn't a layer mask yet, so what do we do next? Well first, you might want to take the optional step of increasing the contrast of the depth map depending on your specific image to create more separation between these elements. To do this, you can press Ctrl or Command L to open a levels adjustment and then increase the contrast from there. And when you're happy, click OK. Next, let's add our curves adjustment layer. And from here, you're gonna select and copy this depth map layer with Ctrl or Command A to select all and then Ctrl or Command C to copy. And then the next step is to either Alt or Option click on the actual layer mask in the layers panel so that the main window that we're looking at is the actual currently white layer mask of our curves adjustment. Now we're going to paste in this depth map directly into the layer mask with command or control V. Next, we're going to hide this depth map layer to reveal the image again. We could delete it, but maybe we want to come back to it later. Now let's see what happens when I increase the image brightness with this curves adjustment. So as you can see, the foreground is hardly being affected at all by this brightening effect. But off in the distance, we can see it's getting a lot brighter. And then there's kind of that element of gradation between the foreground and the background where it's kind of that mid-level mid brightening effect. So that's pretty cool, right? But you know what's better than that is that we only have to go through all these steps once, even if we want to create other similar adjustments, because we can reuse this layer mask with a couple of simple clicks. To do that, simply hold Command or Control on the keyboard and then click the layer mask to load it as a selection. And then when we add another adjustment layer, when that adjustment layer is added, it's automatically going to start with the depth map loaded into its mask. Now, one problem that may come up as you start to use Photoshop's automatically generated depth maps is that you might notice halos appearing around some edges within your image. But watch this next video to learn how to fix these halos and any other halos that can crop up during your editing process.